how long should a patient be on LDN if they have long COVID? If you're doing everything, probably three to six months. If you're doing all the stuff I talked about. Okay, uh, and you'll know. You'll know if it's helping. Uh, it's going to be a combined effort. Of course, you saw one thing at a time because you started everything at once and you had a bad reaction. <laughs> what is it? You're going to have to stop and start over again anyway. So if you start one thing, you know, you do that for a week or two, start something else, do that for a week or two, start something else. Then if you start getting a bad reaction, then you know what's causing it, all right? But long COVID can happen for years. So three to six months, three months, you'll know if you're heading in the right direction. Six months, if you get back to baseline, the way you can tell is just stop what you're doing. Okay, and if you relapse, if so to speak, you're not you're not done yet. And sometimes it's the only way to tell. There's no testing. Okay, that's going to be accurate. So clinical acumen is what is necessary. Remember, to be a clinician, you've got to use the scientific evidence. You've got to use your clinical acumen and use your intuitive insight. That's what makes a clinician. Okay, and by the way, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Okay, not only do patients have what's going on, your you know scientific colleagues and and other doctors who are stuck in the evidence based medicine look down on you. I'm used to it. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm just like, hey, when you have my my rate of improvement with patients, then you can talk to me. Okay.